Cognitive Approach, Baron Cohen et al. 2001. Background of the Research. This study targets the clinically diagnosed demographic of people on the autism spectrum. Individuals with autism usually have hindered social functioning, communication, coping with the changes of life and also have a very specific, limited set of interests. Autism is generally used as a wide term to identify and classify a range of disorders with HFA and as to even acute forms of autism in children specifically, it is characterized by a triad of impairments. Communication, verbal and nonverbal and interpersonal. Social interaction. A lack of imaginative play. The psychology being investigated. An important aspect that this study hypothesizes and analyzes is the theory of mind. What is meant by theory of mind is the ability to reflect and analyze one's own and other people's full range of mental states such as desires, beliefs, emotions, intentions and imaginations, which propagate action. It also prompts how we use this knowledge to explain and predict the actions of other people. Which by theory, is the ability to compartmentalize, understand, and accept how people who are not us, are different from us, can hold opinions and emotions which differ from ours. However, when looking at this from a psychiatric and psychological perspective, lacking this attribute is one of the key features of the autism spectrum, which is found generally in people with high-functioning autism, HFA, as they find it difficult to understand that other people have their own thoughts, plans and perspectives slash views. Baron Cohen proposes that people with autism lack or have an underdeveloped cognitive process slash growth defined as a theory of mind. This theory is associated with empathy, or in this case a lack thereof, in the autism spectrum conditions. Baron Cohen et al. devised a test that examines the first stage of the theory of mind known as the reading the mind in the eyes that tests adults to use their ability to assign emotional states and labels to other people. According to him, it is a good measure of social cognition. The two standardized and credible journals of psychiatry are the Diagnostic Statistical Manual and the International Classification of Disorders. In the fifth revision of the DSM, individuals who are to be diagnosed with autism have to fit into two criteria, patterns of restricted, reiterating behavior, activities and interests along with an inability and disparity in social interaction and communication. While the revision was in process, it was concluded that there wasn't enough objective evidence to distinguish between AS and HFA spectrum disorders and thus it was categorized into the autism spectrum disorder. Aims 1. This study aimed to test whether a batch of adults diagnosed with Asperger's syndrome or high-functioning autism, HFA, would be impaired on the revised version of the reading the mind in the eyes test slash task. 2. To investigate and test if there was a relationship between a participant's performance on the revised reading the eyes in the mind test and degree of autistic characteristics. 3. To investigate if there were sex differences in those without autism on the revised reading the mind in the eyes task. Hypothesis 1. Participants with autism significantly lower scold on the revised reading the mind in the eyes test in the control group. 2. Participants with autism will score higher, significantly, on the Autism Spectrum Quotient Test, AQ, measure. 3. A females in the normal groups will score higher on the reading the mind in the eyes test than males in those categories. 4. The normal group, which consisted of males, would score higher on the AQ measure than the females. 5. The scores of the reading the mind in the eyes test and the AQ measure would be negatively correlated. Get complete notes in PDF and book form from our Amazon store. Link given in description.